Hello everybody, hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be going straight into the Bitcoin chart here. Obviously seeing that move finally below $20,000 exactly as predicted and a little bit of a bounce off of our lower daily level. So I'm going to be going over the levels that we are looking to trade over the next few days to the start of next week. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video, you can learn something from it and let's get straight into what we love and that's looking at the Bitcoin chart. So we obviously were in the last video that I made made looking at a few key levels here publicly on the Bitcoin chart, we obviously had that initial range on the lower term time frame that we were trading into a larger range with a few key levels that you can see here to the downside, obviously being the weekly and that lower daily there coming in at $18,024. In the end, this lower daily at $18,024 was key. As we can see, the little range that we were trading broke to the downside, no support found at the wick lows and really simply made its way down all the way to, well, the actual full-on bottom was put in at $17,567. As we know, catching a falling knife is very bad practice within cryptocurrency because what's the what's the problem here if you have pre-orders set, let's say, at that 18024 daily and you just go straight through the level? There's a few things that you have to bear in mind. First of all, if you preset a level and it goes straight through, you're instantly underwater. And the second and most important thing for me would be where's the invalidation and where's the stop loss? You know, you're going to have to use a really large stop loss if you're pre-setting at a level which is untapped in a very strong downtrend, what's known as catching a falling knife. What you were actually granted with on this, though, was the retest. So you can see you hit that level, trade through it slightly, but overall with a large bounce to the upside. And you have to remember in terms of percentages, this was a basically 10% rise to the upside, just over 10% actually, if you're very low to whip to very high, it's a 10% bounce. And then you, what you were granted with was the retest of the level. Okay, so this is when you're starting to then gain here you have basically an invalidation, don't you? So you have this full on invalidation where then you've got your training a retest of the level. You're going to be looking here for your order flow. You're going to be looking for your divergences forming on the retest. The invalidation, of course, would be breaking down the low. And where we've actually bounced up to was, well, in fact, a region. OK, and this region really started coming in at around where we were looking, obviously, at that CME gap, which is now filled, by the way actually opened with very little CME gap, but really from around that $20,500 to this $22,000 we can see at the end, you know, coming up into this real big CC resistance zone, where obviously we have a few different Fibonacci pools going on in here, but you can see that this is this is the way that you kind of be looking for these trades. Once you've got the retest of the levels, unless you are very skilled, obviously, at order flow, then you can be getting in here on the lower term time frames and trying to like snipe these levels. It's definitely possible. But of course, we're just talking in the in a general sense of the easiest terms of trading. And that's, of course, getting in on, on these retests. So we can really see what's going on here. Bounce off of the daily zone, retest of the daily zone. And this is, for me, the last fit that we can see. This is on the one hour chart. And you can see off this downtrend, we had this one hourly high candle and that was put in at five o'clock on the 13th of June. So it's really simply looking at this Fibonacci. That's obviously from the low that was put in you know, taken originally from the high there on the 13th of June at 5 p.m. When we actually take that Fibonacci from high to low, we can see that we came up into the CC here and we got a pullback to the downside. There was a really important level of confluence that we had in here. And when we come up onto the four hour chart, OK, this is known as our order block. So this is would be here, our bearish order block. As we've came up here, obviously formed a daily level before that really strong move to the downside. And when you actually look into this candle, look at where the point of control is of this order block, we actually came into this level to pretty much the absolute dollar <laughs> um, before getting this pull back to the downside. So you had some really big confluences here. The number one important level, in my opinion, would have been, yes, the order block. And second of all, it would have been the CC. And the reason why why I'm saying second of all to CC is because this one had a few different pulls from this high, this high, and of course, this last green candle high. So there was a few different pulls, but the reason of the rejection really would have been coming into that four hour order block with the last move up before that strong move to the downside, giving you that lower around $18,000. So for me, yeah, that was ultra important. And obviously what you'll be looking at next is, well, I've already marked out, well, actually I haven't marked out, I'll, I'll do it for you now. I did mark it out, I'm going to do it again. The point of control of this range that we now got, we are trading below currently, but if we're just like putting a fixed range up until where that high was made, where we're pulling the fibs, 
down to the low, we can see we're currently trading below that point of control. So this for me is naturally going to be a very important level back back again if we can get a little bit of a rally going on here. It's coming in at $20,600 more or less. A few other things that I want to point out to you here. Okay, if we can get this to load, we'll be coming up on here. We can see also that um, daily naked point of control now coming in at 21,000. We've obviously just tapped that lower daily naked point of control. If you are in the group of the champions, you will know this is a level that I had an alert ready and waiting for because, well, I recognize that we're probably going to get a reaction off this level. We obviously have got a mini reaction of the level, but nothing strong as of yet. Obviously, if we are to be looking for, you know, the levels to the upside are obviously this range point of control to the NPOC, then slightly above this and to the downside well of course we're always going to remember this level which is naturally just the cc but also i'm very interested in these series of lows here and what and you know what type of reaction we get off of this and just so you're all aware when i'm looking for reactions i'm down here on the lower term time frames looking at you know the order flow as it's coming in here so i'll be looking at the delta the open interest you know really that you know the, the volume that's coming in like is it a positive reaction what is the open interest doing you know are we actually seeing demand increase or are we seeing supply come into the market as we're breaching lower levels this is just an absolute key bit of information that helps you make that informed decision of okay is this level holding is this a good reaction or really simply are we going down to a level of support but supply is increasing thus i do not want to take this trade and i will simply wait for the next level in technical analysis in technical analysis we have to mark out our levels and then make informed decisions as those levels are hit but until our level is hit we obviously so you have to remain patient waiting for one of our levels that we have marked out and be planned for ready and waiting to be hit so of course right now i would personally be patient of course we well it's not of course i need to stop saying of course if you had marked out that daily npoc this has given a scalp trade of course <laughs> that is now of course oh my god uh, i'm going to stop saying of course um but what we'll be looking for next is let's say if you miss that trade it would be that next level to the upside or of course or the, the level next level to the downside. Oh my God, it's going to make me go crazy. Um, but yeah, really right now, if I had missed that trade, I would be remaining patient for one of my next levels to be hit. And then once again, what are we looking at once that's levels hit? We can come down here on the lower term timeframes, look at the order flow and just try and judge the reaction that we're getting off of this. And that is really simply how we trade. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this quick update. I just wanted to give you some really few key levels that I am looking at next. And also just give you the announcement that uh, yeah, Eeyore is doing an order blocks live stream tonight. So if you actually want to learn about the order blocks, and this was literally the reason of the exact dollar high, by the way, the exact dollar high was put in on that four hour order block. So if you want to learn the theory behind that, that's going to be covered tonight by Eeyore. That's in the contenders uh, live stream for the contenders and champions. You can pause and read this if you want. And the other really good bit of news that I wanted to remind you all is of that of the speed run modules so this is like the five ten minutes condensed version there was a lot of feedback of people saying oh the, the modules are, are a little bit too long you know you're speaking for like hour one and a half hours um so we listened to that feedback we acted on it and uh yeah you now have like five ten minute videos of the of the whole modules so this isn't a replacement of the modules this is really something to use alongside it maybe for a quick refresh maybe for your first look through but yeah those speed runs basically are the whole modules taken and condensed into five ten minute versions people are really 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 loving this but the bigger news of today is of course the uh, order block stream for me or why because this is one that people have been ready and waiting for a long time you can already see some of the positive comments happy to have Roy joy cc speed run modules are a great refresh after going through original modules of the topic great work team people are just really happy with the you know the added basically the added work that we've been putting in really behind the scenes just getting all the clocks running back into structure you know I hope you can see the, the work that we're putting in here because we are putting in a lot in the back end. Um, so yeah, this was just a quick video to talk you through the levels, give you a reminder of what's coming up tonight if you want to learn about the order blocks. And uh, the last thing I'll, I'll say before we end then will be uh, one last final reminder of our World Series of Trading team. So if you want to join the World Series of Trading, you can come along, check those comments down below. You have just a few days left to join our team. Uh, currently, we're 1,300 people in our team. Uh, this is obviously for the uh, Bybit World Series of Trading uh, up to $8 million prize pool. So if you haven't joined our team already, go over and join that. I'll leave the links in the comments down below. 
I've talked you through the levels that I'm trading and given you the announcements of, uh, you know, a few key changes that we've made and what's coming up in the next stream. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, kept it short and sweet for you, and I will catch you in the next one that we make. Thank you, everybody. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant day. And uh, I'll end with, of course, no financial advice. Thank you ever so much <laughs> and goodbye. Cheers.